I am honored and uh, delighted, if I can find my uh, notes here, to be a part of this uh, great event. And I'm going to wing it. It's a pleasure for me to be involved with this organization and to have the uh, pleasure to introduce the recipient of honor for 2012, Carl Sam Maggio. I've had the distinct uh, pleasure of being involved with, the West, with the Western Growers for many years and attending these meetings and meeting some of the legends of our industry. You know, little did I know that I was going to be a partner with one who, was a, who has become an icon in the industry for many years. For those of you that don't know Carl Sam as well as I, let me bring you up to date. He was born and raised in Imperial Valley, was a member of a Sicilian family, an extended Sicilian family, I might add, that was mainly in the produce business. In his formative years, Carl uh, worked for his dad in their produce wholesale business. And then while he was at uh, USC, worked at the LA Produce Terminal, which in those days was a busy and bustling marketplace. After uh, getting out of the Army in 1953, <laughs> he took a job with Uncle Joe. Joe Maggio, Bunch Carrot King of California, and sometimes referred to appropriately, appropriately as Thunder. Remember that? Well, Carl worked for Thunder, and little did he know while he was working for him for those six years that he was earning his PhD in produce business. After those six years, Carl decided it was time to go out on his own. And he was so fortunate to hook up with Skippy Tostado. Now, many of you have heard, I'm sure, of Skippy Tostado. But Skippy was a quiet, humble, well-respected, liked by all kind of guy. I can put it to you in my words that he was just the most wonderful person I think I've ever met. With that hookup, and by the way, Skip, Skippy was um, a small carrot shipper in LA, and he had, a, he had a brand called Bugs Bunny, which he was very famous for. Anyway, Skippy saw a lot of talent in Carl, and he liked what he saw. And so he decided to hook up with him and uh, give him an opportunity. I think the best way to put it is that Skippy gave Carl the opportunity to fly and make his wings stretch out, and fly he did. Together, he and Skippy formed Maggio Tostado, which was uh, a small carrot operation initially in the Indio area back in the early 60s. They grew and packed carrots, and then eventually included onions, radishes, sweet corn, and cabbage. As time went on, Carl had other formidable mentors in his life, in his early life for sure. And the other significant one that I can recall was Joe Martori. Carl met Joe Martori uh, at his first Western Growers meeting, by the way. Well, Joe gave him a lot of, a lot of direction and a lot of guidance and prodded Carl to grow his first lettuce crop which, as you can expect and not be surprised, was very successful. And more importantly, it gave Carl the first, test, first taste of success. As time went on, his career grew, his reputation grew, and he was regarded as a strong, honest, hardworking individual for the industry. He became involved with the PMA in those early years, 
and was their convention director in 1972. He was also involved with Western Growers, as I mentioned, for 15 years on their board and was their chairman in 1992. That was also a pivotal year for him when he founded and established Sun and Sands Enterprises, which today is known as Primetime International. If it weren't for his diligence, his perseverance, and his moxie, this company wouldn't attain the status that it has today. And thanks to, their, to our partner growers and associates, this company now is ranked the number one fresh pepper, colored pepper shipper in North America. As you would expect, Carl has mentored and influenced many, many people. But one interesting story that comes to mind is that of Rod Grimm. Rod Grimm credits Carl for having him start his business. Now, that might take a little explanation. Back in 73, the Grimm brothers, that was Rod and Bob, started their first, or planted their first carrot crop in the Coachella Valley. And they asked Carl Sam to handle it, which he did, of course. After the crop was picked, they had a subsequent meeting to review the outcome of the uh, carrot crop. And they had this meeting in Carl's office. During the meeting, Rob's inquiries and persistent tax Carl's patience. Now let me explain to you what that means. <laughs> Let's say you take a grizzly bear and you throw sand in her eyes when she's protecting her cubs. Can you imagine the flurry that goes on? Well, it may not be that bad, but, and I've witnessed it a few times and sorely deserved it. In any event, due to that, Carl came to the point of suggesting to Rob if you really want to learn this business, I suggest you do it yourself. And of course they did. <laughs> and they became the largest carrot shipper in the world. <laughs> Carl's firm report firm approach and fair approach in dealing with business, caring for his family, has garnered respect and gratitude by his peers. After all, they're the ones that voted him for this position or this honor. I had known Carl and worked with him for 42 years. I can't tell you I can't tell you the number of people I've met. And when I tell them that I'm associated with Carl Sam, they make me feel elevated by association. Everyone likes Carl. He treats people honestly. He loves his family. He loves his friends. And he loves his company. That's his essence and we all love him. Carl's legacy is his company and his family, of course, but his company will grow, be innovative, and be a significant contributor to the industry and the community. So it's with deepest respect and gratitude that I present to you my friend, my mentor, and my partner, and who we call Top Gun, Carl Sam Maggio.
Thank you, Mark. Terrific introduction. I'm overwhelmed at the response of this group. I mean, I never dreamed that I was anyone other than a farmer from El Centro that aspired to be successful. And uh, here I am. It's funny, uh, my sister Mary went to UCLA. And I, <laughs> and I, I didn't know the difference between UCLA and USC. And so I uh, went to junior college one year and applied to UCLA. And they responded by saying, your grades aren't good enough, but we'll let you come on extension. And if you make a C plus or B or average, or whatever, then we'll take you in as a student. On the other hand, SC said, if your dad can afford it, come on. <laughs> That, that isn't the case now. It's very difficult. I could never get in now. Anyway, I would like to say, Chairman Gerard, President Nassif, Western Growers Board of Directors, friends and relatives, ladies and gentlemen, and if I've left anyone out, you're included. First, I would like to say that uh, President Obama said, you didn't build that business. He was right. You know, I, you had help. So I'd like to acknowledge some of the help that I've had. First, I would like to say, uh, my wife Barbara, thank you for your love and your understanding. And she keeps me in line. Anytime I think I'm too big, she brings me right down. Next, 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 I would like to introduce my sisters, Mary and Rosalie. Mary would not forgive me if I didn't introduce her, so Mary. And also, also at that table are my son, Sam, his wife, Teresa, my daughter, Leanne, and her son, Matt, daughter, Jennifer, her daughter, Cicely, and Lisa, and Vicki, Mary's daughters. Also, also, also at this other table is Thunder's, Thunder's son, Anthony, and other cousins and relatives. I'm not going to go into every one of them. We would run out of time, and we wouldn't hear the great entertainer afterward. Also, I would like to introduce the primetime family of the chair, Mark and Joanne Nickerson. Mark did a great job. He's been, been wonderful. Jeff Taylor, his wife, Sandy. Mike Way, his wife, Ellen. At another table somewhere is Davidi Compton, our Israeli connection. And uh, my, ex the executive assistant, Kathy Jones, who's my right arm, she also takes care of Mark, that's his, her, his left arm. And uh, I hope I haven't forgot anyone, but I'm sure I have. The other thing I would like to say is that uh, one other person who I've been really friendly and like a brother is Cookie Bianco, his wife Edith, Dominic Bianco, and his wife Edith are here. We had, a, we had a condo together in Palm Desert for like 20 years. Cookie was there a couple of months a year, and I was in and out. And uh, so we, we uh, consoled each other on business and family and all kinds of things. And, uh, and we've been partners in, in crops, in, and we've been a partner in a Mexican company, and uh, he's one of the most focused and brightest guys you will ever meet, and a great partner, Cookie, and his wife, Edith. <laughs> the other thing I would like to mention is that uh, 
I was really surprised when Tom Nassif called me to tell me about this award, and uh, I think I know why. Tom started out, or at least was in El Centro in the 70s, late 70s, and uh, he was a law young lawyer there, labor lawyer, and he knew our family quite well, and he knew how many relatives. My dad had seven brothers and three sisters. They all had an average of three and a half children, so you can imagine how big the family is. So Tom figured that I would bring a lot of the family here and we'd fill up the hall. <laughs> and a lot of them are here. Also, I, I know that uh, an associate from Mexico that Cookie and I are partners with, uh, the Ritz brothers are here, Gerard and uh, Jorge. Uh, and l lastly, I'd like to say that Western Growers is a great organization. It's a place where people c can come together, rugged individualists who know everything, and they, can, they have a forum where they can exchange ideas and views, and uh, it's, it's just a wonderful thing to observe. And also, the last thing I want to say is that Coming from an immigrant family, you've got to appreciate what a wonderful country we have where a guy with a dream has the opportunity and freedom to accomplish a goal. Thank you very much. Is this where I get the gold watch? How could you get a Lifetime Achievement Award when you haven't filled out your life?